So, Sackboy is one of those kinds of games that I kind of wanted to try out. Just for the sheer fact that Sackboy is absolutely adorable. He's one of those things, kind of like similar to the Astrobot, where I kind of want a Sackboy to put as a display right on the back uh, where I sit and stuff, where all my games are and everything. He's so cute, man, and I really, really wanted to at least at bare minimum try this game. I know my kids personally want to play this game, so that's another reason why I bought this game, but I personally do want to try it out. If you guys want to see a full series of this game in particular, smash that like button and let me know down in the comments that you personally would like to see a full series out of this. And who knows if we get enough traction on this video, I will probably make a full series about it. I'm sure it's 100% fun, so I'm very excited to try this out, to say the least. But, with that being said, I am super excited to get started on this, so do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed as well, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, enough yapping, more gaming, let's jump right into this. Let me tell you about a very special place. It's called the Imagisphere, and it's made up of all the creative thoughts and ideas anyone has ever had. Yes, that's right, even yours. And they all come together to make a planet we call Craft World. Oh, it's such a peaceful and friendly place. Our story starts in the village of Loon, home to the Sack Folk. Craft world's gentlest, most enterprising creatures. Home, in fact, to the one they call Sackboy. And he's about to have a very strange day. Oh, I do love a warm welcome. That look of pure terror. Oh, you're giving me a tingly feeling. Oh, don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal Vex. You know, bringer of nightmares, master of the uproar. Life from the party! I'm here with a very exciting opportunity. No, really, you're gonna love it. I call it the Topsy Tava. It's going to bring fun, excitement, terror, all oh, oh, the good stuff. I already have the plans. I'm just missing some materials and the jolly volunteers who can put it together. So what do you say? Ready to make history? Of course you are. Just adorable. That's why I saved you for last. Stop it! Craft World will be mine! <laughs> All righty. That intro had a lot of haptic feedback and it felt absolutely wonderful. Are we starting in a level? I think we are. I think we're going straight into gameplay. Aw. Aw, look how cute he is. Oh my god, I love him. Alright, let's see. What is this? Can I do anything with here? No. Alright, well, let's continue on. I think every game 
needs to add functionality to haptic feedback, even third-party games. It'll just be that much more special on PlayStation 5. Oh my god. Let's go. New costume piece? Hold on, can I adjust my costume? Hold on, let me go back in here. I don't think so. So for now, let's just continue on. Maybe we'll find something else. It's kind of funny how the, there hasn't even been a tutorial yet. It just kind of jumped right into this. I guess this game doesn't really need it. Since it's probably like really simple. Is there like a slam button? All right. So there's a jump button. Cool. Give me this. This is, if, if this isn't adorable, I don't know what is. Give it all to me. No, I want the other stuff too. Oh no, it's gone forever. There's a lot of things to collect in this game, isn't there? Alright, well let's go... Back down on this direction. Alright, so I can't even go further. Or more back, I should say. What is it? Oh, cool, dude. When he jumps, it kind of reminds me of, uh... Of, uh, what's his name? Uh, Yoshi. Why doesn't it open? I feel like there's supposed to be something there. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Give me all the balls. Yeah, this game is absolutely adorable, man. My kids, I know when they play this, they're gonna absolutely love it. I might have to buy them another P I mean, well, not another PS5, but a PS5. I probably shouldn't have destroyed those so I could climb up there. That was my fault. Oh well. Whoa! Oh, okay. No! I wanted to collect everything. Oh, uh, I'm gonna definitely have to. I want to collect that pinata thing, but I don't want it to... New costume piece. Alright, good. Let's go up here. Can I pick that thing up? Oh, it's gone. It's out of the game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and replay this level off camera. Just to see what other stuff... How do I pick this up? Okay, R2 to pick up. Uh, do I have to plant this? Oh, it, it worked. Oh, gold bells. I guess it's kind of fitting for Christmas. Nice. Oh, dude. Wait, wait, I need this. Let's go. I don't know what they're for. Let's go, sack boy. You're an amazing... I was gonna say human being, but... I mean, let's be real here. He's not a human being. He's a sack. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and grab these things so that we can get the rest of this stuff. I don't know what it is about this game. Dude, I really want a sack boy, man. What? What do you want? Get out of here. How dare you try to fight me? I'm the one and only sack boy. Can't beat me. I'm unstoppable. All right, let's get the rest of these balls. What's this thing? Oh. Oh, it's an, it's an elevator, kind of. Are these just checkpoints? Is that what that is? I think those are just checkpoints. Get out of here. All right, let's look for an acorn. There's bound to be one around here somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold. To grab. Oh! 
Nice. I don't see an acorn though. Does this give me an acorn? What if I hold it? Oh my god. That's amazing. No acorns. But I got some bells out of it, so... That's a good thing. Alright, let's, uh... <laughs> this, is, this is adorable. Alright, let's go. Alright, we managed to get that one first try. Oh, you want to fight? Oh, look, there's an acorn right there. Let's grab this and take it back and see. What that gives me is probably some more of those little balls things. I'm willing to bet that's what it is. Oh, bells, I mean. Let's go. Come on, baby. Yay! I want the bells. I want them all. Actually, I want these balls too. Oh, I'm way too low. Let's, uh... There we go. That's better. That's more of my liking. Did I get them all? Cool. Oh, dude, this one... Alright, yeah, I, I know about you now. So you're gonna have to hold on there, little flower. You made me miss them last time. Is that the end of the level? You know what that is, don't you? No. <laughs> it's a dreamer orb. Jam-packed with pure creative energy straight from the Imagosphere. But you'll need more of them if you're going to make it up there. Oh, snap! You are here to stop Vex, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but first, you need to know about the dark, foul energy of nightmares we call the uproar. Oh, Vex snap. Vex is planning to fill the whole of Craftworld with it. For now, he's using it to block the way to the top of the mountain so no one can interrupt him. Luckily, there is one thing that can counter that nasty stuff. And you're holding it. The energy of pure wonder and creativity inside it will dispel Vex's barriers wherever you find them. So, seek out these orbs. They are the key to your journey. The key to your destiny. The key to... Do do well, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> Next time we meet, I'll reveal great cosmic secrets. Maybe tell you a bit about myself, like my name, which is Scarlet, by the way, and more importantly, the truth about your very existence. Yay, I want to know that. Hey, what's going on? 250 finish? Yay, that's the, len that's the end of the level. 200, level complete. There's a lot of things I missed. I know that for sure. 30 bells. Oh, cool. Nice. Say cheese. Alrighty, that was awesome. I want to know though how I can change cosmetics. So, you get a higher score based off of the golden bells tracking. That is pretty cool actually. So, replay or world map. Let's go to world map and take a peek at it and see what. This is all about. Oh, this is this is the world map. Oh, this is similar to like the old school Mario games. A big adventure. That's part one. I got the gold on it. Uh, unlock. Okay, so we actually got that orb from this level, and now I could use it to go to the next level. That wow, that's very interesting to say the least. Travel so I could go back. Quick select, what is that? A uh, PlayStation Store? Sticker book? What's the sticker book? Oh! 
That's cute. I want to know how to change cosmetics, though. That's what I want to know. But it doesn't seem... Like I like I can. I don't I don't know if I can. Let's see, travel to where? Um I guess nowhere? I don't know. This is kinda weird. I don't know how to change cosmetics. It would be nice to be able to. But I don't know how. I know this is a short video, guys. I don't want to continue on further. I want you guys to let me know if you guys want to do a let's play out of this. So far, this was absolutely adorable and I know my children are going to love it. I had a blast with the first level, man, to be honest. I might play this off camera just to get uh, all the trophies and stuff like that, you know, platinum. It seems like a pretty easy game, so I might actually do that. If you enjoyed on this video, though, do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces